After the semester ended, Ray Red had moved back home to his folks' house in a suburb near Albany. Over a bowl of just right one morning, his father looked at Ray's newly pierced left nostril and it snarled. Okay, goddammit, that's enough. Ray looked surprised. I mean, what was this guy's problem, he thought. I'm up at the crack of dawn. It was 9.30, and I'm having breakfast with this pain in the ass, and all he wants to do is break my balls. Ray's ears were still ringing from band practice the night before. Ray's band, the Singing Sperm Smelt, had a big gig coming up at the local dump next week. I mean, didn't this old asshole know the pressure he was under? The elder Red looked at his son's shaved head and wannabe beard and Salvation Army oversized clothes, his stank of stale smoke and beer, and shook his head. Okay, Ray, now if your nose of an ear in two, that makes the Pierce count at five. What's next, your damn tongue? Ray laughed. Don't be crazy, Dad. How could I sing with that? And besides, the bass player already had that done two weeks ago. Ray's dad slammed down the morning paper, knocking over his coffee cup. Listen, you look like a Holocaust victim from a fashion concentration camp. I want you to cut the crap and start looking for a job for the summer. But, Dad, what about the band? Forget the band, you idiot. I want you to start looking today. I hear the Burger King is hiring. Now, take the friggin' jewelry out of your face, shave off the filthy fuzz, and get your ass in some human clothes. By the time I get home tonight, you better be working on something somewhere. Period. After Ray's dad left for work, Ray Red went back upstairs and jumped into bed. Around two in the afternoon, Ray called up Arvie, the bass player with the pierced tongue, for the singing sperm smelts and invited him over. They sat up in Ray's room watching MTV, passing the joint back and forth, discussing their song list. Well, I think we ought to open up with The Fish Has No Balls. Arfie shook his head and lisped over his pearl teardrop earring in his tongue. Nope. I think we better start with nothing evil thumpeth. Just then a report came on MTV that a popular young band leader had blown his head off. Whoa, said Ray. Wowth, said Arfie. Later that night, Ray's dad parked his minivan in the driveway, and as he got out, he was hit with a burst of automatic weapon fire. He was dead before he hit the ground. From his bedroom window, Ray was a bit surprised how fast the barrel of the AK-47 had gotten that hot. As the gray, heavy smoke hung about the room, Ray looked down at his old man, blood splattered, twitching in the driveway. And he said softly to himself, Would you like that for here or to go?